Hey guys, welcome to the part 1 of how to edit a portrait. So let's start by importing our photo in Lightroom and correct the exposure. If you don't know if you need to correct something, you can check the histogram to see the overall exposure of your photo. Now just play a little bit with the sliders in the basic tab in Lightroom until you are happy with the exposure. Now let's jump into the Photoshop. You can easily send your edit from Lightroom to Photoshop by right-clicking your image and then in the Edit In option choose Edit in Adobe Photoshop. You don't have to open Photoshop yourself. Once you hit the Edit in Photoshop option, it will be started with your edit automatically. First thing we need to do here is to change the background layer to a normal layer by double-clicking the background layer. Then duplicate your layer so you will be able to get back to it whenever you want. Now we are going to remove all skin defects from our portrait. There are two main tools I would recommend you to use for this job. One is called Patch Tool and the other is Spot Healing Brush Tool. This brush tool looks basically like a normal brush. All you need to do with this tool is to adjust the size of the brush according to the size of the defect you are going to remove and then just click on the defected spot on the skin. Photoshop will automatically replace the unwanted part of the skin. I would personally use this tool for quicker edits when you don't have that much time for editing. But if you have that time and you want to do the job more professionally, use the patch tool. It's much more precise and you can control how Photoshop will actually replace that unwanted skin spot. All you have to do is to manually select the area around the skin defect and then drag the selection to a clean part of the skin with similar color and brightness. Now just repeat this process until the skin is clean. Also, don't forget to clean all parts of the image like neck or hands for example and not just the face. So this was the first part of how to edit a portrait professionally. In my next video I'm going to cover frequency separation and overall skin tones and skin color corrections. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.